Hey Virgo, I'm back. Yes, yes, yes. So I wanted to see what other messages Spirit had for you tonight in this timeless message. Please take what you need and leave the rest for others. Don't forget you all to like, subscribe, and share. I rarely say that, but I feel that if you wanted to subscribe to my channel, you can. And if you don't, that's free will. Either way it goes, I'm just happy that you're here. All right. So we're going to see what messages Spirit has for you tonight. If it's your birthday, once again, happy birthday to you all. Okay. Virgo season is still in effect. I'm going to ask Spirit to come into this message and give us a reading for the Virgos. Five of Pentacles, and we have the Five of Cups. Uh, somebody regrets leaving you out, uh, leaving you out in the cold. They regret it. What they did to you, somebody regret the wrong, something, let me say this. Somebody regrets the wrong that they have done to you, okay? But you're still shining. You're still glowing. You're still moving on with your life. The uh, Queen of Pentacles. They miss you. Mm -hmm. They miss how, how valuable you were to them. And they're, they're, they're thinking like, wow, you know, I, I fucked up. <laughs> you know, they're saying like, damn, I really, really fucked up. I cannot believe I did this. I can't believe I hurt Virgo like this. What was I thinking? Now they're alone. Okay. Whatever they, they, re they regret saying the things that they said to you for the connection to end. You know, they just, they know that they messed up with you, Virgo. They they missed the value. The, they missed the value in you. Okay, this person has tried to contact you. Some of the things that this person said to you was very very fucked up. All right, it was very fucked up. And 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 this person realized it's like dag. You know how they they missed your purity. How you were to them. How you treated them. How golden you were to them. They missed that bush. <laughs> they missed that cush. Take it how it resonates. Okay. They want to come back. Mm. They want to come back. Some of you all, or should I say some of us, have already started hearing from our exes, whether you choose to get with them or not. They're already Some of the exes are already back, and some of them are, are still in the process of returning. We have the lovers, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be a relationship that's coming back for you from your past Virgo or somebody brand new. You know, you don't have to take the ex back just because they come. Okay. Somebody, some of the exes want to come back just to come. If you get what I, if you get my drift. Some of you going to say, nope, I'm over this. And some of you all are meeting somebody brand new. Some of you all still got to, to hash things out with the ex even if it's a conversation that needs to be had even if you're arguing arguing you know with one another trying to figure out what the heck is going on you know it's like you're speaking your truth to this person whether they want to hear it or not you know um i definitely see someone coming back for you okay um by any means necessary they're coming back you're going to hear from somebody uh on a regular basis now they're going to contact you on a regular basis you know talking communicating with you more probably more so than they were when they were when then they were with you you know they're going to start doing it more you know they just miss you you know and they they oh, i can't believe i messed that up okay what was mm. it's kind of picture in a movie but i can't remember what it was done in so Messages for Virgo, solitude, this person's been doing a lot of thinking, conflict and defeat. This person kind of like, they, they, they run a lot from a lot of different things in their life, not just you, you know, and they're suffering in silence right now. They're in hermit mode, uh, going, doing a lot of, of, of thinking, uh, cause they're, they're going through some inner turmoil in their life and they don't know, uh, they don't know what to do anymore without you, without, uh, without you, without the love that you gave this person. They ran away as fast as they possibly could. When things got heavy between the two of you, they bounced. Like I'm, I'm done. This this Virgo chick or this Virgo cat is is, is dude is is scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> and they ran away because they didn't know how to they didn't know how to do, they didn't know how to handle you. Okay, but now they're suffering in silence. Okay, because the thing about it is you showed this person 
how you what you wanted. You talked to this person, you told this told this person, this is how I expect for you to treat me. If you don't treat me this way, if you don't do this, if you don't do that, then I don't need you in my life. You gave this person too it's like you were too much for this person to take because nobody has ever confronted him or her about how to to treat a person. You told this person, you demanded respect for this person. You demanded for this person to do their part, equal give and take in this relationship or whatever it was, and they couldn't do it. And they ran. And now they're suffering in silence. Like, damn, if only I could have met Virgo where they wanted me to. I would have been okay. I wouldn't be by myself. I wouldn't be single. I wouldn't be lonely. But I'm sitting here all alone when all I could have did was just gave Virgo what they wanted. But that, now they see. Turn this out. Sorry if this is dark, but we'll see. Prosperity begins. Rest in as you rejuvenation. You're making partnerships elsewhere because you're choosing wisely. Your person is, is conflicted and they're defeated. They're feeling defeated in their life. They're going through some, some a mental conflict too without you being in their life. So your person's going through a lot of different things. They're doing some inner work. They're thinking about the things that they've messed up in their life, including messing up things with you and their suffering because they, they realize that they didn't choose wisely. Okay. But you, no matter what it is that you're doing, or no matter whether you're single, coupled up, or whatever, your prosperity is beginning. You got new things coming in your life. You're polishing those pentacles. You're meeting new people. You're planting seeds. Those seeds are going to grow and thrive, and you're going to get everything you need in your life, okay? It's like gold at the end of a rainbow for you. Because you found your inner strength and your inner power, and you told this person or these people that if you're not going to treat me the way I deserve to be to get treated you can bounce and they bounce okay like a motherfucking basketball financial and material changes are coming to you Virgo your prosperity is going to be is already beginning okay positive movement forward in your life and this is your destiny may not even be with anybody right now may, may not be your destiny with this person from your past now they're realizing now they're very very aware of what they did okay they sacrificed this relationship okay they sabotaged this relationship all because they couldn't give you what you needed in your life and now they're fucking mad at themselves in this mental conflict that's their fault not yours it's not their fault it's not your fault that they are a damn fool give me more messages for virgos please virgos what's going on this person who realized that, that you are no longer in their life because it was their fault. Because they couldn't give you what you asked. They did. They couldn't give you what you required them. And they left. Because right? they felt that you were asking too much. But now they're looking like, like, damn, I'm by myself. Now I'm single. Why couldn't I just give Virgo what she or he wanted? Why? They, they, you told, you probably told this person to get the hell up out of Dodge or they told you, well, this isn't working out for me, Virgo. I'm sorry. Cause they felt inner turmoil. They felt that they couldn't give you what you needed and they made a different choice. And, but they, no matter what it was that this person chose, they realized that they gave up on the strength of who they were. You built this person up where other people tear at them down and they don't know how to deal with it okay so now they're in hermit mode thinking like dad you know had i been a little bit more stronger had i had a let me shut up what i'm gonna say some <laughs> had i had some big balls i was gonna say something else or some big titties i would have been able to give virgo what he or she wanted but i didn't have it at the time and i left so they, le they hurt you they devastated you by ending the connection with you you know but they never gave up on your on how they felt about you. They are carrying the burden of hurting you. Now they're going through some shit right now, see? And they don't know how to get out of it with this two of their that the back and forth in their mind, wanting to communicate, wanting to talk to you, wanting to apologize. Because they, they haven't stopped loving you. Because you were everything. You're the nine of cups here and you are the magician. So you are everything that, that this person ever wished for, ever dreamed of. But they ruined it. They ruined it because they didn't know how to handle you, Virgo. Okay. They need some counseling. <laughs> they need some counseling and options. You know, um, and we have crystals. 
Uh, this person needs support. They need counseling. Uh, they need to, need to start making better choices and better options because they feel so low about themselves. They feel that they couldn't give you what you needed. So they felt defeated and left the situation. Okay. They're needing to correct. They need to connect with their higher selves. And two, if, if you've, if you've been a spiritual leader in this person's life, they may call you and ask you for advice or they may, may be watching tarot readings, especially if you were with this person, they didn't like you to listen to tarot readings or whatever the situation was. I didn't like when you did it or whatever it just didn't mesh with them but now they're needing that support okay they're needing to figure out how they can get some help with you know with the issues that's going on with them how they feel about you or wondering how you still feel about them they know that the option that they made was messed up Okay. Even though this says, uh, consider the career opportunities that are open to you, you probably work with this person, but this person knows that they made a, a different, a, um, a real shitty choice when they walked away from the connection with you, whether you work with this person or not, or whatever the situation was, you know, they realized that, that the choice that they made wasn't a fair one to you. Okay. And two, they, they, like I said, they probably need some damn counseling. Okay. Even, you know, just talking to a friend or talking or, or, you know, speaking to the, uh, their higher selves or whatever you know this person is is all over the place you know with with how they feel about you with how you feel about them with how they treated you okay they know that you know that they screwed up how's your person feeling all right is this person going to come toward you anytime soon is this person going to come toward you virgo anytime soon take action compromise you know, getting more information through possibly tarot readings or talking to friends or family. How can I, I communicate with, with Virgo? What, what is it? What can I say to, to make this person understand that I, I'm sorry I messed up? You know, they want to take action, but a part of them is saying, wait. A part of them is saying, let go. Another part is saying, remain positive here. Okay, they want to take action, but they're saying, wait. Compromise. Well, maybe if I say this or do that and apologize, but another part of them is saying let go. So they're all over the place, okay? They're getting more information through tarot readings, through family and friends, trying to get opinions or, or different things that they can do to, to make it up to you. But overall, everything around them and everybody around them just remain positive. No matter how, no matter how it ends up, whether you're communicating with Virgo or not, just remain positive. Within the next few weeks... And we have listened to your intuition. So this person is going to get some guidance through spirit and from the people they know within the next few weeks to come to, to come toward you. And they got to remain positive, though. OK, but we have here they want to communicate clearly. OK, how they affected you and why they did what they did to, to break things off with you or for the connection to end. But they have to recover from what they're going through right now. While you are doing you living your life, you're going through some big, happy changes. Okay, big happy changes are coming for you, Virgo. So you're living your life, you're doing your thing, okay? But your person is going through a really rough time, okay? But spirit is wanting this person to trust. No matter what happens in their life, when it comes toward you, you spirit still want this person to trust and move on with their life, whether you with this person or uh, you accept this person's apology or anything, you know? They gotta trust whatever the outcome will be with you. Okay, give me a crystal card for Virgo. And we have Ronadite. My mental and emotional bodies are balanced. I attract nurturing people. Release heartache, grief, and sorrows of past relationships. You're done, okay? Encourage lightheartedness and joy. Restore balance of confidence and emotions. So I think that you're done with this person from the past. Because you, you've already released this person. You've probably done a lot of a lot of inner healing work with this issue. And you need to, in, in Spirit is Town, in San Jose, you may be, you may not even give this person another thought. You're probably already over this person. Okay. So I just think that this person has to understand that you fucked me over. I'm not going to let you do it twice. Okay. Give me a final card for Virgo's person. Virgo's person, final message. And we have here, release anger and increase harmony. Re reduce inflammation, improve inner knowledge and calm. Increase mental clarity and emotional balance. You're already emotionally balanced. Your person is not. This is the soul delight. 
I sail through life on calm, nurturing waters. I am at peace with myself and the world around me. Okay. This person needs to find peace in their life. You've already found your peace to this situation. You've already found closure. You've already found an absolution to this place, to this person. Uh, release this anger and increase your harmony. You've already done that. Some of you all, somebody has some inflammation that they need to, to calm down. He or she needs to improve their inner knowledge and calm the fuck down and get their mental stability together and their emotional balance. You're already emotional, um, emotionally balanced. You're done. Release heartache. You've done that. Release anger. You've done that. This person has to re increase harmony in their life. You've already done that. You've already cried your, your tears. You've already got rid of this person in your past life relationship. Spirit just wants you to keep on being happy and restoring the balance and confidence in your emotions. You've done that. Your person has not. They have to increase mental clarity and emotional balance. You have restored the balance and confidence of your emotions. It's just that simple. So your person may be ass out, Virgo.